All right, finally, we got it all stacked up there. All right, let's go. Oh, what the? Oh, no. This thing just <laughs> isn't getting it done, I guess. Hello, everyone. This is Stevio, and we are back in Wisconsin, and this is not working. This isn't really advised, but I think I'm going to unhitch this. It's a lot of weight on the tongue. And try to put that uh, 8130 on there, because... Uh, this old international just can't get it done. Yeah, this thing is probably a little more equipped to uh, handle this. I gotta take my uh, bail catch off the back of this quick. We are just picking up the straw bales. Yeah, it did rain on us a little bit here, so that's why we're not in the field right now. We're trying to get the remainder of this straw. The, the stuff in Renrose is probably too ruined to really... Oh, that hitch is just all over the place. Oh, I guess we got a little bit of squat in the back there. We might have to put another a bale on the front of this just to give it a little... Uh, give it the right... Uh, try to sit it level. And I might adjust this slightly. Oh yeah, this is way better. We are a little light in the front, especially when we're going up the hills. Oh man, she's a struggling. We could do it. I'm trying to get up to this bale so I can put it on there. Poor deer. Just uh, probably needed a little bit more horsepower. That's a lot of bale weight. All right, let's see if we can get it done now. Oh, there we go. Come on. Got to use the momentum for it. Run! If you don't remember, this is a very hilly country, and we probably shouldn't have used the round baler. It's a little... Oh! Oh! What are we going to do now? Shoot! I broke the whole hitch off. Look at that. Ugh. Oh, man. Hmm. I don't know how we're going to get these bales home. Right, let's try to uh, jam this thing up over. Oh. No, we might have to run over some corn here. Come on. Okay. All right. Oh, we got it. Whew. Whew. Do not tell Duggo. Wow. That wasn't easy. I must have put the waterlogged bales on top because let me tell you, there was a couple more close calls to that. And wow, am I uh, impressed that I did not tip it over one more time. Because, oh, this is one top. Oh, oh. Let me get out of the way. Oh, we got a truck -a coming here. Oh, wow. I just barely missed. Thanks for slowing down. I did not see you around that corner. Oh, man. That's a Widowmaker corner there. What? We must have a logging crew coming here. Duggo did say his cousin actually owns a logging company. A neighbor that actually... Uh, touches his land right above there he's an old disgruntled farmer actually passed away and the logging business bought the land is actually logging it making more of trying to clear out some of the land and uh i am making sure i'm not gonna tip this over right in front of duggo here his cousin, Jim, is actually running that logging company and clearing out the land up there. He was uh, known around this area for, uh, you know, being rude, not letting you hunt on his land, very meticulous about his land. He, even in his 90s, he was running around on an ATV, running around his land, making sure no one trespassing, making sure there was no tracks. He was a very picky farmer, and I guess that's his land, so he could do whatever he wants. But now that he passed away, logging company's clearing it out. We'll probably hear a lot of logging noise coming over 
the mountain farm. It's about two miles over there, so we're definitely here. Wood chipper they have? That thing screams. Next job of the day is to unload all these trucks. Dago wants them unloaded, so let's do her. All right, we've been at work here. We just have one last truck to offload here. And we are done with this mission. And I think Duggo has a few odds and ends for us to do. I don't know. I should really be getting paid for all this. I've put in a lot of hours. I've been, what, three, four days helping out Duggo? Just about a quarter of a truck left here. All right, that is done. Last truck of the day, or today. I guess Duggo wants us to uh, try to start putting some of these harvesters away because it might sprinkle later on tonight. Doesn't want all that stuff. When you get all that dust and junk wet here, it just makes these harvesters nasty. Right. Start this girl up. Probably start the hillside up here. Warm up a little bit. And I have no idea. I think I might try to go around the side here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, can we get through here? I don't know if we can get through here or not. Oh. Oh. Doesn't look that way. Well. Just, I think I may, uh, just harvest some of this field here. Can we get around this spout here? This is tricky. We got a lot of stuff to move around here. Don't need our auger folded out. Try to needle this in here somehow. Very carefully. Oh, it just barely fits. Like a glove. Gonna have to do... Who the heck is this? Okay, that was Jim, Duggo's cousin. He said his logging crews actually ran upon an old building. They haven't broke the lock yet, but looking inside, it appears there's some old cars stuck inside. This explains a lot. No wonder if that guy was hiding stuff up there in the woods around his farmland. This explains a lot. Why, why else would he, he be so cautious about his land? Early in his years, he heard rumors that somebody was collecting cars around here. He hasn't heard nothing about this fact for probably 20 years. He thinks these may be the mother load, the mother load for this county. Cars that he wanted and found out that they were uh, bought underneath them have never been found or he never knew where they went. This might be the place they went. I have never really seen Duggo this excited before. It's kind of uh, surprising to me. Would these be his cousin's cars, being he uh, bought the land? No, I guess. I didn't know, maybe even the relatives didn't know that uh, these cars were actually on the land. Maybe just the old fart that was always disgruntled was the only one that knew. Kind of surprising when your dad buys a whole bunch of cars and he hides it from you. Though. All right, try to keep up with Duggo here. Well, who put bales all the way over here? Who was so rude to have their bales all the way over here, sticking right off the highway? Man, some farmers. All right. This is uh, definitely the journey back here. We're actually not that far from the house, but we're take we gotta go about probably seven, 
eight miles around to go two miles away the bird flies there we go and Dugo is really flying down these uh, old dirt roads this isn't very wide here all right definitely a lot of corn to get out of the field still okay I start to see some trees over there. That mean this is where we're gonna be. Huh. Wonder whose uh, corn this is here. Not for sure if this is Douglas or not. Okay. Wow. Definitely a uh, a long trail. If you were going to hide something in the woods, this is definitely the place to do it. Wow. Alright. Well, I'm starting to see some uh, logging equipment here. Okay. Uh, where are we going? Exactly. Where's what's Duggo doing? Okay, guess we're going over here. Uh, I do see Jim's truck there. Okay, what does that say? Do not enter. Makes sense. All right. What do we look at? That big beast of a chopper going up over there. Ugh. It's making huge smokestacks. All right, where did Duggo and Jim go here? What is this? There's definitely an old building out here. Look at this. Couple old trucks. War down trucks. Old harvester. On oh, old truck there. There's definitely cars in there. Where did the heck did they go? Duggo! Duggo, are you around here? What the heck is this? A highway patrol? Huh. Old cop car here. Hmm. Hopefully nothing, uh, he just purchased this and nothing, uh, bad happened here. Duggo! Oh, bring the boat cutters? Yeah, let's open this thing up. I gotta see what's in here. Get this open. What do we have? Look at this. This is crazy. How the heck? No wonder he was such a hard butt to uh, be on his land. What is this? A Ford Ranchero? Man, these things are kind of rare. Look at that beautiful girl. It looks like about, well, 1957 right there. California plates here. Oh, a Cuda. Wow, that thing looks like it's set up for drag racing. Oh, man, it uh, has the tank in the back and everything. Whoo, look at that. Look, that thing, it has a big engine, big block in there. Oh, man, a Chevelle? A Chevelle? A, uh, a GTO? Oh, it looks like we have a Mustang. Is that a 302 Mustang back there? Oh, a Corvette. Man, it's a convertible. That's a C3 body style, I believe. Man, I can't believe these things have been out. This thing had to leak. This poor guy, man. He could at least build a nice building out here. A fair lane, too? Holy cow. Oh, man, I just have to start up this Chevelle. I mean, look at that breather on there. Oh, my goodness, that thing. Oh, oh more power. Oh, it even starts up. Ooh, listen to that thing purr. Ooh. Oh, man, all these old gas pumps around here. This is so much money. Oh, man, 
I am so envious of Jim right now. I have got to ask if I can possibly purchase a couple of these cars. I don't know. He, he is one rich fool. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time over here in the beautiful state of Wisconsin. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. The old Dodge still works. The Highway Patrol still getting it done. Jim, give me your cars. I want them all. Later, y'all. Get over here, Jim. I'll run you down.